Hi, I'm Paul Tursley, and this is a demo of PT Open Sesame. Uh, Open Sesame brings backwards compatibility to After Effects projects, making it possible to export projects in a format that can then be re imported into early versions of After Effects back to CS3. Um, so the script file that you download uh, needs to be installed in uh, After Effects Scripts Script UI Panels folder, and um, once that's installed, uh, you'll be able to uh, and re restart After Effects. You'll be able to select it from the window menu. So um, I have a template project here, which was provided by the guys at uh, VideoHive.net, and um, this project is a pretty cool template project. Uh, lots of uh, flying text and uh, shape layers and stuff. And um, so um, this is um, this project is actually available for CS4, I think. But in this case, I've got it in um, uh, CS5.5. And now, if I wanted to, uh, if I needed to uh, provide this to a client, for example, in a much earlier version, my options would previously have been quite limited. Um, there is this option in 5.5 that lets you save as a CS5 project, so one version back, but um, that's as far as it goes. So, um, but with Open Sesame, I can select Export Project, and uh, this is going to save it as a tab-separated text file. And uh, there we go. So, and now I'm going to jump into um, After Effects CS4 here and run the script again in here and select import project and then select that um, text file that was exported and uh, while this is re-importing we'll just have a look at this um, text file and um, you can open it in a text editor and uh, there it all is and or even easier to read is uh, opening it in a spreadsheet so uh, that's the project import complete here so here it is in uh, Excel and you can see uh, all the data is laid out in uh, columns and um, everything needed to recreate the projects in here folders uh, comps solids etc etc um, so in theory you could um, edit your after Effects project simply by editing this text file so let's go back to um, CS4 here the imports complete and uh, let's have a look and see how good a job it did and there you can see it's uh, it's done a great job of uh, recreating that project and um, now I said that you could um, edit the uh, text file uh, externally um, and I'm going to show you another option for that um, in the um, help here um, so there's a lot of information about instructions for the um, project conversion and also editing projects externally and um, you have an option to export as tab or comma separated text files uh, and there's also this option separate editable values and uh, with this if I check this and turn on uh, tell it to include text and footage uh, then it will separate the um, footage paths of any footage and the text contents of any text layers and save these to another separate uh, file uh, to make them even easier to edit so with that checked let's um, export this project from 5.5 again and um, now when that's complete uh, we can see that instead of just the single file it's now created two files here and uh, if I open this uh, this separate values file uh, in Excel uh, you can see it has the uh, footage paths for the footage so we've got absolute and relative footage paths here um, and also the text contents of all the text layers in the project um, now if you're editing the um, footage paths for example you could do a search and replace to um, kind of change in bulk all of the file paths uh, you should be aware that um, it um, searches for the relative paths before the absolute paths so uh, you should um, focus on editing the relative paths first um, but um, so for the text here like let's say we want to get in here and change so there was that um, your name motion designer so let's put in my name there 
and uh, what else some of these links link one let's change these to some something kind of random okay and so we'll um, close and save that and now if we go and re-import that project um, you can select either of these uh, two files so, so this is um, the, the the main part for open sesame is the backwards compatibility but uh, this as you see also offers the options of editing your projects externally as well so um, let's complete and let's have a look and see so there it is my name is now in there and let's look for those links there we go so you can see it's quite easy to uh, get in there and edit all those text values so um, now I just want to show you a couple of uh, limitations now um, if we go to um, After Effects CS3 here for example now um, while the script does work in CS3 uh, the um, CS3 has one limitation which is that um, it can't recreate the textiles uh, scripting doesn't have support for textiles in uh, or didn't have in CS3 so um, if I import one of those projects into CS3 um, everything else will come through okay but um, the styles on the text layers will uh, be missing and um, if, the, if there are any problems during import or export, you'll get a log telling you what those problems are. So here, it, in this case, it says um, you can't set the font um, on this particular layer, it requires CS3, CS4 or later. So um, even if it can't necessarily do something, then it will give you a list that makes it easy for you to kind of get in there and manually fix those things. Um, but in this case, there is kind of one thing now this is kind of quite a text heavy project so this has kind of done quite a bit of damage to uh, to this project but um it's not quite the end of the world because um there is one uh, trick you can use which is that if you've got both uh, versions of Effects running on uh the same machine as i have in this case then you can actually um select um and copy uh the individual textiles from those layers and then paste them directly between the two open apps so it's obviously not ideal uh, it's a little bit fiddly but um, it's better than having to completely uh, do it all again from scratch so that can um, still save you uh, quite a bit of time Oops. okay so um, so that's one limitation um, there is um, actually in the help there are a list of um, a few issues a few limitations uh, with this um, and the other main limitation that you'll probably run into is um, effects that uh, store values as custom data values so let's just create a quick um, something to use as an example here so um, the um, levels effect uh, is a good example of this where the histogram is stored as what's called a custom data value and um, so if I try to export this as a project I would get this um, error saying uh, so it, it would export the project but it would tell me that it can't export this custom data uh, this affects levels um, so some bits of uh, the project won't be recreated perfectly uh, but in the case of levels then there is an alternative which uh, if you know you're going to be doing this you could swap out levels for uh, the effect called levels individual controls which is the same essentially the same effect but it stores the values uh, differently so uh, if you were to export this a project with this kind of levels uh, that would export okay and then um, re-import correctly as well 
So those are just a couple of the um, limitations uh, with Open Sesame. But um, even with these limitations, uh, it will still save huge amounts of time if you find yourself in a situation where you need to provide clients with an earlier version. So that's the end of the demo. Thanks for watching.